My name is Vanessa Jones, and I'm currently the Education Director at Greater Brunswick Charter School. I am a founding teacher beginning here in 1998, and I came to GBCS because I was looking for a public school that would afford students the opportunity to learn in a hands-on, developmentally-based, Montessori-inspired context. So in 2011, we started a dual language program. We had many students who had the same home language, Spanish. And when we looked into bilingual programs to adopt, we fell in love with dual language. We felt that by being bilingual was an asset for our students. We did not want to transition them into English. We wanted to have them become bilingual and biliterate. Dual language consists of teaching two languages and not just all day, but once a week. We do English and another week we do Spanish. And what makes it great is that about 50% of the population is already Spanish speaking. From that, we have grown and evolved. We've had personal education plans, which were inspired by individual education plans for special needs students. My youngest daughter is visually impaired and she also, her eyes look different from most kids. They, they move a lot, There's, she has nystagmus, and so I talked with both the kindergarten teachers and the school counselor about really the best way to approach um, how my daughter um, interacted with the other kids and how they interacted with her. And what they decided was that to have somebody from the Commission for the Blind and Visually Impaired come and talk to all the students so that everybody was on the same page, so that she wasn't some sort of strange mutant being and she sees her um, visual impairment as something that makes her unique. We brainstorm together what they want to work on. They come up with a plan, which we call their personal education plan, their PEP goals. And those are things that they work on in the classroom and they're assessed along with the state curriculum and reported on in their progress summaries. PEP goals are something that you choose to do and it, it like helps you learn about a certain subject. And then my pep goal was about volcanoes and how it was formed. Um, my pep goal uh, was Harry Houdini and I set it up a board to tell about what he did and some pictures that shows how a straight jacket looks like. In this school there's a lot of um, different students from all different places and they get to experience um, different like things, like specials, where they get to go to art and they get to go to music. Our school also has a strong foundation in positive discipline. We believe that children should be problem solvers. And when there's a conflict, they work through it together using conflict resolution, using peer mediation. But the truth of the matter is that a lot of parents and students choose our school because of the respectful, safe environment. Uh, the parents, they're so comfortable coming in. Like I have parents in my classroom all the time helping me with projects, helping me put things up, or even just working with the students. It's normal that our parents are here, that we have an inviting community, and that everyone feels like a family. Bringing in different organizations as part of our family learning nights, as part of our regular programs, we're currently partnering with the George Street Playhouse, doing one of their Theater at the Core programs, connecting social studies instruction, literacy instruction with theater. As a family learning night program, we have cooking class for kids. Boys and girls can cook, can make dishes, uh, any kind of dishes, can make desserts, etc. I look forward to continuing this process empowering teachers and students with what they need to continue the momentum that we have.